Hi friends, today we are making broccoli and tofu stir fry Chinese style. So to make broccoli tofu Chinese style, we have taken around 500 grams of broccoli which we have already washed and chopped. So we need to chop it like this. And we are also using this snap peas. So we are using around 100 grams of snap peas. And this is optional, we don't need to add it if you don't have it. So we have taken organic tofu which is around 396 grams of tofu so after taking out the tofu we need to wash it with cold water thoroughly to remove all the chemicals so after washing the tofu we have taken out in a plate and now we need to microwave it for around two to three minutes so microwaving the tofu will actually remove the excess moisture that it contains and when we will fry it later then we will get a crispy tofu so first we need to microwave it for two to three minutes so we have microwaved the tofu for two and a half minutes now we need to take the paper towel and with the paper towel we need to remove the excess moisture that it contains You can also squeeze the tofu with at this point. After removing the excess moisture from the tofu, we will be cutting it in the square piece size. So now we have chopped the tofu, now we will be shallow frying it. Now in a heated pan, take some oil, we are using avocado oil, so we, have, we are using around 3 to 4 tablespoons of avocado oil and uh, we, we need to shallow fry the tofu in this oil. You can use any oil which has the higher smoking point. Now on a medium flame, start roasting the tofu. So we have to roast the tofu from until it is golden brown from all the sides. So we have to roast this uh, tofu on a medium flame. So make sure that all the sides turn golden brown so now while roasting it give it a flip so that it is roasted nicely on all the sides So now you can see that our crispy tofu is ready. So it requires a bit of patience to roast the tofu. It, it cannot be done very fast. So just be patient then you can get a crispy tofu. And, uh, and if you don't mind about the oil then you can also deep fry the tofu. Then it, it can be done a bit e easily and fast when you deep fry it. So now we need to take it out, out, of, out of the pan. Now use the same pan 
and add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of sesame seed oil. Sesame seed oil gives a nice flavor to this dish and you can use any oil of your choice if you don't want sesame oil. So in the oil add the chopped garlic. chopped ginger or grated ginger as per your choice roll the ginger and garlic once ginger and garlic are nicely roasted add the broccoli and snap peas So we are using the organic vegetable broth which you can easily buy from the market. So we will be adding about 1 cup of vegetable broth into this broccoli and so the basically vegetable broth will give a nice flavor and taste to the broccoli and also it will help the broccoli in cooking nicely. Add 1 cup of vegetable broth. Add some salt as per your taste. Right now we have added 1 cup of vegetable broth. If we require we can add some more vegetable broth later. So mix the broccoli and vegetable broth nicely. Keep the flame on medium while cooking. Cover it with a lid and cook it for 5 minutes. To prepare the sauce for uh, stir fried broccoli and tofu, we have taken about uh, 2 tablespoon of arrowroot powder which is a nice replacement for uh, cornstarch. You can also use cornstarch but uh, arrowroot powder is a healthier choice. In this uh, arrowroot powder we are adding some water to make it a paste. Now add 1 4th cup of soya sauce into this. Add 1 tablespoon of vinegar. Now in this sauce we are adding sweet red chilli sauce. So we are adding about half cup of sweet red chilli sauce. Mix it nicely. Add half cup of vegetable broth. Mix it well. Now after 5 minutes, we will check the broccoli. Now add the fried tofu in it. Add the sauce that we prepared. Now keep the flame on high and mix it well. And allow the sauces to be blended nicely with the tofu and broccoli. Bring it to a boil and cook it for 2 more minutes. Then we can serve it. 
Now Chinese style broccoli tofu is ready and we can serve it. So we have roasted for one minute brown and black sesame seeds so that all the moisture is evaporated from the sesame seeds. So we will be using these roasted sesame seeds for garnishing. So now we have served the Chinese style broccoli and tofu with a serving of steamed rice. To serve it, we need to garnish it with some spring onions on the top. For garnishing, we will also be using some sesame seeds. So you can also use only black or only white sesame seeds. We are using it in combination. It gives a nice taste and crunchiness to the dish. Garnish it with sesame seeds on the top and serve it. So enjoy this delicious Chinese broccoli tofu with rice with your family and friends. And it really tastes very delicious and yummy. If you like this recipe, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for many more delicious recipes. And don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching.